Hi students, coming to our next topic that is memory map I.O. Actually, there are two techniques for address I.O. devices by the CPU. Okay, two techniques. For address I.O. devices by CPU. So CPU to address the I.O. devices, it used two techniques. One is memory mapped I.O. And another is isolated I.O. Okay. So these are the two techniques that are used by the CPU to address the I.O. devices. One is memory mapped I.O. And another is isolated I.O. So before going to know about the memory mapped I.O. Let us see the difference between these memory mapped and isolated I.O. Then you will get what exactly the memory mapped I.O. is. Okay. So let us see what is isolated I.O. first. Okay. So isolated I.O. So in isolated I.O. We use uh, two separate address space. So in isolated I.O. Two separate address spaces are used. So here we are using two separate address space. One for memory location and another for I.O. devices. Okay, so one for memory location and one for the I.O. devices. Two address spaces are used here. So here the I.O. devices are provided a dedicated, dedicated space. Hence there are two separate control lines for both memory as well as I.O. transfer. Suppose if I.O. read and I.O. write lines for I would transfer whereas memory read and memory write lines for memory transfer. Okay, so here we are using two for I would transfer, it takes the I would read and I would write. Whereas for memory transfer, it's take memory read and memory write lines. So separate uh, locations will be there here. Hence, here in and out instructions deals with I.O. transfer. Whereas, more instruction deals with memory transfer okay so this is about the isolated io so the main thing here you have to be noted that in isolated io we are using separate address space one for memory location and one for io devices so io transfer always use the read and write io read and io write whereas memory transfer is the memory read and memory write it uses the input uh, in, out and more instructions for transferring the data from I.O. devices to CPU and from CPU to I.O. devices. So this is the isolated I.O. Now let us see the memory mapped I.O. What is this memory mapped I.O.? So in isolated I.O. we are using two separate address lines. Whereas in memory mapped I.O. we will use only one address space. One address space will be used. One address space is used by the CPU. Okay. CPU used only one address space in memory map I.O. Because this technique in which CPU address and I.O. devices just like a memory location. So it's called this as memory map I.O. So CPU uses only one address space. Some addresses of this address space is assigned to memory location as well as to assigned to I.O. So, only one address space will be assigned to memory location as well as I.O. devices. So, here the two separate addresses are there. But whereas in memory mapped, only one address space is there. That only one address space will be divided, uh, allocated to both memory locations as well as the I.O. devices. 
so there is only uh, here only one set of read and write instruction lines will be there so only one set of read and write here you are having two uh, lines i will read i will write for i will transfer memory read and memory write for memory transfer whereas in memory mapped i will you are having only one set of read and write line instructions okay and here there is no there is no separate in out and mu instructions okay there is no in out and mu instructions in memory map i go the instruction used to manipulate the memory can be used for i o devices also here the instructions used to manipulate the memory can be used for can be used for i o devices also okay so this is the memory mapped i o so here you, you can see uh, the example uh, suppose sorry. so if you take the isolated i o so this is the isolated i o so i said isolated i o you are having two separate address spaces so you can take one for memory and one for io so this memory space and io space two separate spaces so a memory start from 0000 means this is 1 megabyte by 8 bits and here f f f f 2 0000 000. so the io space the address will be uh, 64 kilobytes my 8 bit okay